San Joaquin County law enforcement is mourning the death of fellow K-9 officer Duke, who was stabbed inside a train while trying to apprehend a burglary suspect this weekend. And I immediately went to the vet hospital to just let the handler know that if he needed anything to let me know, just give him support. Cloward says he was one of the dog's trainers. There's a lot of grief that goes with that. There's quite a relationship between handler and dog. One of two burglary suspects had run inside the engine room of a train at a Tracy trail yard, according to sheriffs. That's when Duke was released, and inside he was stabbed multiple times. Questions surrounding the canine and whether it was protected by a vest. The sheriff's department tells us that in this particular case over the weekend, their canine Duke was not wearing a vest because it would have been difficult for the dog to maneuver in the small space inside. And it's because of those small spaces they say that the vest, if he was wearing one, could have been caught on anything. But Cloward explains that they may not be the best in every situation. Sometimes those vests work against us. We had a dog in Texas that the vest was actually used against the dog and they were able to drown the dog by pulling the vest over the head of the dog. A new proposed bill known as AB 742 would prohibit the use of an unleashed canine by law enforcement for apprehension purposes. But Cloward says it's situations like this that could have an impact on the force. If the dog hadn't been used, more than likely a deputy would have been stabbed or somebody would have been stabbed or the suspect would have been shot. And now we're back to, you know, excessive force or, you know, officer involved shootings. Cloward says although he believes law enforcement made the right call in this case, there is always room for improvement when it comes to handler and police dog training. Introduce something that deals with the training side of it. Because in this state, there's absolutely no regulation regarding canine training for law enforcement. It's wide open. They can go to a three-week school, they can go to a four-week school. There is no control who's doing the training. Um, that's where the changes need to be made. In Tracy, Josie Hart, KCRA 3 News. And a procession for that canine duke has not yet been announced.